Hi, Michael from Invarian here, and welcome to the tutorial video covering what's new in Rapid Plan Online. We've made a number of improvements to Rapid Plan Online, including updates to the user interface, improved controls over plan objects and canvas navigation, and printing, exporting, and sharing your plans. There have also been improvements made to how Rapid Plan Online works on touchscreen devices. We've covered these in a separate video linked in the description below. Let's take a look at how the user interface has been updated. First off, the properties window now has a new look with improved comments section and the ability to choose job start and end dates from a calendar rather than typing in the date. The icon above the properties for changing the view type of your base map has been removed, but you can still change the view type here in the layers section under the base map layer. Click the base map layer to expand the layer options and then you can switch between Google and Mapbox, as well as the view type for each of these base map providers. In the middle of the canvas area, you'll now see a red pin here. This red pin indicates where you are on the map relative to the location of the plan's origin. Here, next to the red pin, you can see how far I am away from the plan origin displayed in XY coordinate fashion. We can also see the specific latitude and longitude of the pin here as well. Above the properties, the icon for changing the map of view types has been replaced with a new icon, return to plan origin. This icon, which looks like a location pin, can be clicked at any time to return you to the plan origin. So if you're designing a long work zone and you've panned far away from where your plan starts, you can now easily return to the starting point without having to zoom out pan over, and then zoom back in. Also, maps no longer have boundary limits in case you are needing to design a larger scale plan. You will also see that the canvas button for toggling between panning and selecting has been removed. This brings us to the new and improved controls in Rapid Plan Online. Rather than toggling back and forth between whether clicking and dragging will pan around your plan or select objects on it, you can now pan simply by holding down the space bar and moving your computer mouse or your finger on the touchpad if you're using a laptop. When you let go of the space bar, you'll stop panning. If you're using a computer mouse, you can also pan by pressing down on the middle button or mouse wheel and dragging. An alternative method of panning on a laptop is to scroll up and down with the touchpad using two fingers while holding the, the control key or the shift key. Holding the control key while scrolling will pan vertically and holding the shift key will pan horizontally. Zooming controls have not changed for desktop and laptop users. Desktop users can zoom in and out by scrolling up and down with their mouse wheel respectively. Laptop users can zoom in and out by swiping down and up with two fingers on their touchpad, respectively. Note that pinching in and out on the touchpad does not zoom you in Rapid Plan Online. Rather, it will change the overall zoom level of your browser, including the sizes of the palettes on the sides of your window. To select objects on your plan, simply click on them or click and drag over them to select multiple objects. Dragging to the right, which displays a blue selection box, will select anything fully inside your selection box. Dragging to the left, which displays a green selection box, will select everything inside and touching this selection box. We've also improved how you control selected objects on your plan. You can now open up the selection context menu simply by clicking on an object or selecting a group of objects without right clicking. Here, I will select a group of signs. Once they're selected, I can click and drag one of the objects to move the whole selection, and I can choose from any of these options in the context menu. Right-clicking on your plan is now only needed for pasting objects. Note that I can copy an object by selecting it and choosing Copy, or I can use the Windows shortcut Control and C, and when I paste, that object follows my cursor, ready to be added elsewhere on my plan. I can also copy and paste text from my clipboard that I've copied outside of Rapid Plan Online, like so. When pasting text from your clipboard that was copied outside of Rapid Plan Online, note that your browser will ask you whether you'd like to give the program access to your clipboard. Click yes if you wish to paste what's copied on your clipboard. 
If you accidentally click no, you can still paste text with the Windows shortcut Control and V, or you can change Rapid Plan Online permission settings in your browser at any time. We've also improved how printing and exporting work in Rapid Plan Online, starting with how you capture an area of your plan to print. For any current or former Rapid Plan Online users, print frames have been replaced by print regions. For any new users, print regions allow you to define the boundaries of an area on your plan that you would like to print or export. Print regions can be added to your plan through the layers palette, above your base map and any additional layers you've created. To add a print region, simply select the plus sign next to it, like this. Note that it'll be centered around the red pin in the center of your screen. If you've added a print region before adjusting where the red pin is located on your plan, you can always reposition a print region afterward. To reposition a print region, click and drag by the text here in the bottom left corner that says print region one. If you need to resize the print region, you can click and drag from the blue control points in the top left and bottom right corners of the region here and here. If you don't see these control points, simply click on the print region text to select it and they'll appear. If you need to capture more than one area, you can continue adding print regions to your plan by clicking the plus sign next to that layer, like so. As you do, you'll see each print region appear in the layer section with a printer icon and a trash can icon next to it. To delete a print region you don't need, click the trash can icon next to that region. To print or export your plan, click the printer icon above the properties palette. If you need to print or export a specific print region, you can select the printer icon here next to that region, and the print preview window will automatically pull up the selected region. You can print or export all print regions by clicking the printer icon here next to the print regions layer. Once you click on a printer icon, the print preview window will appear. Here, much like the previous versions of Rapid Plan Online with print frames, you will have a drop down field at the top for the print regions on your plan. If you've chosen a printer icon next to one or all print regions, the selected print regions will automatically appear. If you've selected the printer icon above your properties palette and wish to print certain print regions, click this drop down field and choose that print region like so. With the desired print region selected, you can then choose the page size and orientation for the plan. Note that the print region area will automatically fit itself to the boundaries of the selected page size. For the best visibility of what's inside your print region, choose the page orientation that matches the orientation of your print region. For example, if you have a landscape oriented print region and choose a portrait oriented page, your whole print region will display on the page, but it'll be shrunk down to fit on the page and you'll need to zoom in on the PDF more than you would on a landscape oriented page to see the plan objects. When you're ready to print or export your plan, just click get PDF or get image at the bottom of the preview window and a PDF or image will appear respectively. If you're printing your plan, you can then print that PDF. We've also improved exported PDFs, changing them from raster images to vector images. What this means is that your plan objects will appear clear at any zoom level. However, please note that satellite imagery cannot be exported to vector images and may appear blurrier at greater zoom levels. Along with improved PDF quality, we've also improved the view only option. As I create a share link for my test plan and open it up in another browser window, you can see that anyone who follows this link can now view the properties palette and select objects on the plan. They will not be able to edit any plan objects unless they also have Rapid Plan Online and have been added as a collaborating user, but they can select objects and view their properties, such as the spacing between cones. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest here at Invarium.